What's up world? This is my 2005 Chevy Impala that has been sitting in the driveway for the past few months. See, I recently replaced the radiator on the car. Recently replaced the radiator on the car because it was uh, leaking coolant everywhere. So when I finished replacing it, you know, I had to take the fan and all that fun stuff off and get to it. So I actually drove the car around for maybe a couple days. This is maybe back in February, it's about two months ago. Drove the car around, maybe put 200 or so miles on it, maybe like one trip to the gas station. And then I noticed down my driveway, it was leaking coolant that was coming from this side somewhere. And it's still under there, my uh, catch container. Almost filled with coolant that was leaking over here. I just moved it over recently. I actually jacked the car up two days ago to figure out what was going on. So that's when I noticed that the top hose from the coolant, this part was leaking. So what I did was jack the car up. Well, first I thought it was the bottom that was leaking. So I actually jacked the car up and the clamp, I pretty much loosened it, snugged it back up tight on the bottom and stuck it back up to the top. Then it stopped leaking there. But then I noticed the car was still overheating. So I remember that when you replace, well, when you open up the cooling system, there's air that gets in there and you have to bleed it. So what I'm gonna do now is bleed my coolant system. I actually bled it before, back when I first replaced, did a coolant change last year. And went to Harbor Freight and purchased me, forgot the name of this. But purchase this, fill it with coolant. I'll show you how to use it. So what I'm gonna do today, see the coolant change. It was it was a big mess. Going to do a coolant change on the Impala. Not the coolant change. Do a coolant flush so I can burp or bleed all of the air out of the lines, so I can drive my car again. So I'm gonna grab tools that I need and start bleeding. Kit came with a lot of attachments. I forgot which one it was, but I'm going to first install it. Hey, how's it going? Hey, so uh, Kit Harbor Freight. First, we need this adapter and this adapter. Make sure it threads on correctly. And that's how you install it. So that's set up. So now to bleed it, I'm gonna zoom in in a second. One needs to get to this screw. That's actually an 18, not 18, an eight millimeter bolt. So I'm gonna grab my sockets. Fill this up with coolant until it gets right about here. And I'm gonna start the car and run the engine and get it warmed up to see if it'll take coolant or shoot it out. And through here, I will loosen it so you'll start seeing air bubbles and shooting out coolant. So let's fill up the reservoir.
So I think I have successfully bleeded my system. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually take it to Marin. So I think I have successfully finally finished. The coolant level is actually floating right about here. And the bleeder valve that's back here isn't shooting anything out other than coolant. Yeah, so now it's time to drive around the block one time. right up. Looks like I'm low on fossil fuels. So I think I'm actually going to go to the gas station. Yeah, so uh, so my cooling gauge is still riding good. So let's throw it in D and go to the gas station. Just put in 25 to the gas tank. Let's see if she starts. Hey, on time every time. 